country singer and world-famous music star, Jesse James Decker, is learning the hard way how liberal Hollywood plebs treat other stars. She was already viciously attacked for standing during the national anthem while her husband, NFL player Eric Decker, dealt with his own issues surrounding the anthem. Jesse loves America and stands up for the anthem, as if that controversy wasn't enough to get her some negative attention from fellow celebrities. Now she's going through even more tumultuous torment from her fellow Hollywood stars. Although it certainly seems like some of them live in a bubble filled with the air of Trump derangement syndrome, she previously said about the flag, I think about my dad, my uncles, my cousins, both grandfathers who fought in the Vietnam War. I think about how my grandfather Papa Tim would ask me to sing this song for him every time I saw him and how he would make me turn the other way to sing it so he could just weep and cry as hard as he wanted because it meant so much to him. The singer wrote along with the clip. I think about all of the men crying because they miss their wives so much, or the man telling me he hadn't seen his baby girl yet since she was born. When I sing this song, I think about them. This song is about them, it's not about me. That's what I think about every time I sing it, she said. I love our country so much, and we should all love and respect each other because this is the greatest country in the world. I see the love, I see the unity in all walks of life on a daily basis, and it makes me so proud to be an American. So, in the words of Forrest Gump, that's all I have to say about that, she said, after dealing with the mess of defending her stance on the red, white, and blue, she's now dealing with something else. This mess that she's going on about now is absolutely insane. She has three kids and a traveling NFL husband, so she already has enough on her plate. Now the intolerant liberals are trying to spoon feed her dopey amounts of nonsense, hoping she'll bite, but she's probably going to leave them sitting at the table where they need to learn some manners. Her next problem with the intolerant people who won't mind their own business stems from a photograph she posted of her child. The singer couldn't even post pics of her family without hearing from the backseat drivers. But what seemed like a sweet snapshot of her four-year-old daughter Vivienne Rose caused a bit of a stir after the country pop singer captioned the photo, Dan Bunny, apostrophe. Commenters sternly warned the 30-year-old about the danger of sun damage, chastising her and messages like, children shouldn't be tanning, skin cancer is never a good look, apostrophe. Another comment had a more helpful tone, cute but don't forget sunblock, very important, apostrophe. One woman shared her personal experience, explaining how she and Jesse's shared Italian heritage and olive skin wasn't a replacement for sunscreen. I have Italian skin that tanned and ended up with melanoma at 40, she wrote. There were also people defending the star, when I was little. I always had a dark tan in the summer. I was outside all day long, running around and swimming, having the time of my life, wrote a fan. A tan happens even with lotion. Don't be bothered by the amazingly better than anyone else at mothering morons out there. Your daughter is beautiful, tan or not. Apostrophe. Jesse and husband Eric Decker parent daughter Vivianne, son Eric Decker too and recently welcomed baby Forrest in March. Sharing a photo of her new baby boy on Tuesday, she wrote, Love this little chubby-cheeked baby boy number 12 weeks old. Apostrophe. The couple, who were featured on their own reality show called Eric and Jesse, Game on Nani, wed in 2013. How nice of people to remind a country singer that her kid might get a sunburn or suntan. Can you imagine how miserable people must be if they're busy bossing around someone over some suntan lotion? Considering she's a country singer, it seems like that would be common knowledge. In fact, that's fairly common knowledge to anyone who lives on the planet, which means thanks, but no thanks. Jesse doesn't need to hear from the intolerant and or miserable people in Hollywood or anywhere else. She's busy living her life, loving America. And if that's a problem then whoever is bothered by it can eat some crow. This is the land of the free and Jessie can post pics of her family if she wants to. Anyone who has anything to say can step up and say it to their face. No one needs a backseat driver, especially those who spout off at the mouth about things everyone already knows. Keep rocking Jessie James Decker. Don't let miserable liberals get in your way.